Shalom. Uh, before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. And Shalom to the Hofi Lake that is uh, continually plowing, that is uh, giving all diligence in this work, this truth, in all faith and sincerity. Now, the topic of the video is going to be a quick response to these guys that uh, talk about or, or raise the question, you know, where is our DNA? You know, can we get a DNA, you know, sample of, or, or, or some sort of evidence, physical evidence, should I say, that we are um, the Hebrew Israelites? And the thing about it is that if you try to go and do that now, you know, try to get a DNA test or whatever, it's going to come back with all kinds of of um, nations like, you know, they, they say, oh, well, you're from this part of Africa, you you know, you're, part, you're from this part, that part. Um, you know, it can only go so far, man. You know, you you go back to uh, Europe. Say, oh, you go back to Japan. You go back to you, you know. It, it just raises more questions, man. It's, it's nothing but confusion when you try to uh, do do things like that. That's why the Lord speaks against trying to do that, man. Trying to go and get a DNA test, try to figure out, you know, where or uh, where you come from, man. Because this this thing of ours is based on faith. All right. Now I'm sure you had you know brothers that thought like, oh damn, man, I'm, am I Edomite? You know, am am, am I Edomite? You know, am I a, am I a heathen? Well, the thing is that if you believe in this in this word, you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, and even knowing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, man, this that lets you know, man, that, that that you are indeed a Hebrew Israelite, man, because it's by the Spirit. All right, we don't go by physical evidence. Okay, you know, because you got you you still have these people try to come up against us. You know, saying that, oh man, you guys are not the Hebrew Israelites. You know, basically, you know, they're trying to downplay this uh, this thing of ours, man, this truth. All right, and really, that's that's the higher ups, man. We know who's at work right now, man. It's the so-called elites, who's the uh, the banking families, man. They they uh set these guys up to come up against us because they know this is the truth, and this is really hurting their um their agenda. All right, so now they got to pay off guys to come up and um come up against us and um, try to debunk us whichever way they can and this is not this is nothing new man we had people come up and with these kind of questions and and um, <clears throat> they get confounded every single time <clears throat> all right so I got three precepts to, to uh, bring out to um, crush that that stupid you know um, question should I say I don't even I don't even want to call it a question because it's, it's really it's, it's, it's <laughs> it shouldn't be regarded as a question because it's, it's obvious man look at look at uh was look at the day man look at 2017 man if you try once again if you try to get a uh, DNA test or whatever it's, it's gonna come back with all kinds of answers all right so you have to rely on your high about your shot man like I said it's based on faith man only only the real Hebrew Israelites in which that starts with the elect, because even two thirds of our own people, even though that they're they're the, the natural Hebrew Israelite by um, by bloodline, right? Because yeah, it is it is a bloodline. It's your family line. All right. Even though we can't give you the physical evidence of that, yeah, it is still a bloodline though. The children of Israel are still here today. But, but once again, it, man, it's, it's a separation. Okay? You have an Israel of the Most High. Which that starts with the election of 144,000. Alright? So, let me read this uh, these three precepts. Uh, I'll make it real quick. This is Romans chapter 8, verse, um, verse 16. Yeah, I'm going to get straight to the point of these precepts. It says, uh, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. All right. So the Spirit bear witness that we're the children of the Most High. The children of the Most High being Hebrew Israelites, because that's why there's a scripture where it says, uh, "Israel is my firstborn." Where it says, "Israel is my son, even my firstborn." All right. 
So yeah, we are the children of the Most High. That being the children of Israel, uh, we are the true Hebrew Israelites. All right, because our spirit bears witness. All right. So moving on from now, I want to get the book of uh, uh, not Matthew. So uh, I get that a little bit later. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter one. I'm going to start at verse, uh, I think it's at verse 4. Right, it's 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions. See, that minister questions, man. It's just nothing but brings up more questions. All right? If you go, like I said before, if you try to bring up genealogies and stuff like that, man, this is just raise more questions, you know, because you're going to come back with all kinds of answers. All right. Like I was talking about earlier. So it says neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies. See, that's endless genealogies, man, where you try to physically bring up, you know, DNA and, um, you know, family lines and stuff like that. So we go by once again. We go by the spirit, man. Because once um, I bring out another aspect. Now Israel is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. We know that for a fact. You can read it in the scripture and you can see it for yourself. But um, you got Hebrew Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So you might have a, a so-called, you know, he might be called a Japanese. He might look Japanese or whatever. He might look Asian. He might look like a, a so-called East Indian. But if you really dig into the spirit and you observe, you can tell that that's a Jake, man. All right. Why is that? Because they got a certain, a certain character about them, man. They have a certain spirit, and actually that leads me right into the next precept, which is in um, Matthew chapter uh, five, verse thirteen. All right. Now it reads, "Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out." And to be trodden down under foot of men. Alright. So we're the salt of the earth man. We give the earth flavor. Alright. That's why you see everything around you. Is is uh, spanned from us. Because there's a scripture where it says. Uh, Jacob is the former of all things. Alright. Because the things that you see right now man. We we spur the ideas of, of, of the things that you see. Alright. Every single thing that you see. Come, comes from us man. And that's only by Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, Shai making us the, the prince the prince of uh the power. That's why you have um Israel in the Hebrew is uh Yashar Allah, which, which means he is the prince of power. Alright? So everything that you see around you come from come from us, man. We're the salt of the earth. We give the earth flavor. Alright? We're not bland like the so called white man is. Alright? Or these other nations, because you know these other nations are, are, are completely off, man. The spirit is off. That's why you can tell a difference between a so a, a so called Negro between a so called African. All right, look at their spirits. They don't vibe with each other. All right. They don't have the same spirit. That's why the Lord said He put a difference between the Egyptian Egyptians and Israel. And you can clearly see that today, man. Look at basketball. You got Manu Bow. He's a he's a hamite, man. And you can clearly see that because he ain't got no style to his, his play. He ain't got no style to his play style. You know, he doesn't even have a play style. He just, he just, you know, throw the ball in the hoop. That's it. But anyway, not to ramble on too much longer. That pretty much is the point. Uh, hopefully, I can get edified with this lesson. Hopefully, the members of the hopefully lecture I say is edified by this lesson, and let this be uh, the um, a reminder that look. We go by the spirit, man. We don't go by the flesh. Okay? We're not carnal minded. We're spiritually minded. All right? And this pretty much answers the question to these guys speaking about DNA and stuff like that, one physical evidence. Well, here's your evidence right here. I just I just read three precepts to you and I explained it to you. There's your evidence. All right? So with that, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemuel Shai? Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. Peace and safety to the Hopi Lake. It's also doing the same things in all faith, truth, sincerity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.